Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you some of my uh, sewing and crochet and knitting items uh, that I finished up or was working on for the month of May. My first item that I finished up is a crochet item. It's a little penguin and he did not come with the scarf or the hat. I just made that up on my own to add to uh, him because uh, our home university is penguins. So I made that up. On the pattern, this is a free pattern that I found on Ravelry and I'll put the link down below. Uh, I couldn't finish figure out the feet for anything that they were saying. So I just made up my own little feet and then I just ran thread across to divide it and make the little toes. And then I just made him up a little scarf and I tacked it down so it, that it wouldn't move. And then I made him a little hat and tacked that on so that it won't come off and then added the little pom-pom. And he's our little penguin. And that's my little penguin. Okay. My next item, I might as well. Uh, my next item is my crochet quilt. Uh, you know, lap quilt that I was working on with the flowers. It is all done. All the all the rows are completely sewn together. They are single crochet stitched sewn together. Uh, my yarn that I used was uh, Karen Simply Soft and then I did just a shell stitch uh, rows of single crochet rows, uh, one roll of double crochet, some more rows of single crochet and then a shell stitch for my border on my blanket. And I have the flowers with the uh, solid green flowers in between. And that's the blanket with all the different colors. It's green and pink and purples and because green and pink is the color of my craft room. And I wanted this to go over the back of my chair because sometimes when I'm sitting in here my lap gets a little chilly in the winter time. And that's my blanket. I finally finished it. Okay, and other items that I was working on this month, I made some more of the um, um, project bags. And these are, this is uh, a small, these are just ones that I've made up and I put into the shop. A medium and another medium project bags that I made up. And I also made up this project bag like this. All of those are double string too, just like this one is. And this is another, this is a smaller one. This is the size of the small ones. And those are up on my Etsy store. And I was just making these up for me. This has a project in it. And this is the other one. This is the large size. Or one of the larger sizes. I think they're a little bit wider than this. This I just made up with a, a fat quarter. And did the, uh, the lining in the middle. Uh, different color lining on the inside. And I like this one. I made this one tall. So that when I'm working on it. All I do is I fold it down in half like that open it up and it sits nicely for a little basket while I'm working on the pull my stuff in and out of now I might as well show you my first project here anyway then these are my projects that I'm working on I started working on in the month of May and I hope to have these done in June this is I'm teaching myself to crochet and I know everybody says when you learn to learning to crochet just crochet back and forth and back and forth and I would never stick with it that way. My mind, I, I got to have a, a finished result to work towards. So I found this pattern on Ravelry. Ravelry? Ravelry? 
Ravelry. And it was another free pattern. And this one is uh, Mel the Melissa Scarf. And it's not, you once you click on it over there, then you go back, you go over, it'll click you to her website for it. The Melissa Scarf. And that's a picture of it right there. And this is my first knitting project. I'm teaching myself to knit. And this is where I'm at right now. I need to be uh, 11 inches wide and it'll end up being 72 inches across and it has these little these little knobs like these little twisties all along the edge of it and this I just typed in simple put in how much yardage I wanted to use and uh, the type of a yarn how thick the yarn is and then the list of um the list of items will come down so that you can pick out what you want. And I just wanted something si simple. This is just a regular um, uh, knit stitch back and forth across. After you do your little edge at the first one, then you just knit. Then you get to the other one and you do your edging, your little nobble, and then you just knit across. This marker is where I was the last time I showed my husband. Because I show him like every couple days or every day. Yeah, I showed him yesterday. So this is how much I've worked on it yesterday since I've showed it to him. So I'm just going to leave that there. The new marker I'll put up here. It'll be, I'll mark it so I see where I am. Hopefully I'll be done before I show it to you again and block it out. The yarn that I'm using on this one is my 100% Baby Llama that I had purchased earlier. And I've done one scheme. Ah, I'm almost done. This is the last of this, that one. And I'm a little over halfway there. So it called for like two. I'll see how it looks when I'm done to see if I want it to be a little bit bigger. But it's like you wrap it around and then wrap it back and have the ends hanging down. And I want them to hang down really nice. So I have three skeins or hanks of this one. So... I can always roll up another one if the two isn't enough. And this is just a little thing that I picked up at Walmart. It's a little uh, ball of yarn to stick on that needle. That's because I don't want my edges to push off. This one, they never really go up on that needle, so I don't usually put one on that one. And that's my knitted shawl or scarf that I'm making. And my new bag, and like I said, it then it just sits like that, and I, I pull my yarn right out of there. Drop everything back in, pull it up, and cinch it closed. This one only has uh, one drawstring on it. I have a little flower on the end, and I'm going to get one of those little squeezy things to pull up and put on the end of that. I just hadn't picked it up yet. Uh, this is my other little bag that I had uh, purchased, I mean I had made, and it's a, a drawstring bag. And what I'm making in here is I'm using the um, Vanna's Choice and the white and the black, I mean the yellow and the black. And I'm making a, um, let me get the pattern. Uh, this is a pattern that I purchased on Amigurumi, Garumi, com, I think it is, and it's for a giraffe. So this is like just his nose part. I got to put his little nostrils in, and his head. I'm just getting started on that. That's a little gift that I'm making for my husband for his birthday at the end of the month. And I put my needle in the bag that what I'm working in, and that just goes stores in there because it's just the two different colors and I just rolled up a small bit of the brown because you're just putting the brown on his nostrils and then his um his uh, little spots and the way I do my yarn once I roll it up into cakes 
Then I take the label that I used and I wrap the label around my yarn. And if it's my cake is too big for the size of the label that I used, I just put another piece of paper and then I tape that down. You know, I tear the uh, label apart, oh, you know, at the seam and squeeze it around and then retape it back on there so I know just what yarn I have. And as the cake gets smaller, I, you know, as it starts getting softer, I can always push it in further. Just untape it and squeeze it a little bit further. And that's why I know what yarn that that is on there. And I just take another piece of, um, easy, just take a piece of uh, computer paper. Cut a little slip, put it in there, and tape it over just to make it meet. And it keeps my yarns really nice and neat, too. And the last item that I'm working on is from the other quilt that I made for my class, for my uh, craft room in here. Um, with the flowers, the leftover yarn, because I have two, ch I actually have three chairs in here, but two chairs I want to put a, uh, a little quilt on. So the, I'm doing a corner to corner in all of the, uh, the leftover yarns. That I'm use, I'm trying to use up the leftover yarns that I had made the flower with, and I'm just taking and started my corner to corner since I had more of the green. I started it with the green. When I get down after this is my last different color that I used on that quilt, and I'm, since this was just like the center of the flowers, I'm only using one of the yellow. And then I'm going to do the green, and the green is going to be the last complete roll, and then I'm going to start tapering it in. So, and I've been trying to do, do the edges, like every night right before I, I stop and put it away. I kind of put, did all my edges in, because I hate going back and doing the edges. I just didn't do it last night. And this is where I'm at. And I just put a uh, stitch marker, and to remember what size needle I'm working on, I, I, those stitch marker, those needle, needle uh, holders or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that's the size needle that I'm using, even though it's in the bag. If I happen to take it out and use it on something else, like if I didn't finish this, this is hooked onto there onto the last stitch, and then I know what size needle to grab to finish working on this one. So here's what I have so far with all the different colors in it. And it's the corner to corner. This one is so easy to do. This is like mindless stitching. And so is like my, my uh, knitting because there's really not, I don't really need a pattern until I get to my length to tell me what to do next. Once you learn how to do like the first two, uh, rolls then the second roll you just go back across it until you reach your desired length and then it's a step two to start to tape you know to taper it down and this one is you just go back and forth till you get to the size that you want it to be and then just the next thing is just taper it down so these are like mindless stitching here I don't need to look at the pattern anymore until I get to the end and uh, I keep this in a bag that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were right by the register. I'm gonna, I haven't made a, a giant size bag for my blankets yet. And I'm going to try to work on that and make the big bag. But this was a bag that was zipped like into a little pouch. They were by the registers at Hobby Lobby. And then you unzip them and they have this nice big bag. It's for when you're going shopping. And I have all of my different yarns that were left over from this project, I took all of that yarn and put it in here. My needle was in there, and then I just put my project on top. And usually I just work on this at home, so if I go from chair to chair, I just carry it just like that from chair to chair. I want to make a big project bag this size so that I can carry uh, my afghans. Uh, I can have my afghans in uh, my own project bags that I can close up at the top. And that's all that I have for you now that I'm working on uh, for the month of 
this is June now. I hope to finish that blanket, finish my shawl, finish my uh, my little um, giraffe, and um, make some more project bags. I'm going to be adding more project bags to the shop. I went upstairs in my stash and grabbed out some more uh, different fabrics that I have. There's some really cute fabrics uh, I'm going to be adding to my shop. And um, then uh, once I finish that shawl, I'm going to cast this shawl on and start working on. I want to make, I'm going to go look through. I think I found the one that I want to make another shawl out of this, uh, this black material here. And, or shawl or scarf, whatever you want to call them. And that's all that I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye.